Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today I'm going to do a detailed teardown on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in and checking out this episode. If this is your first time here and you guys enjoy all things tech and repair related, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack that bell so you're notified on our latest videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or need a screen repair, please reach us at www.mrphonedoctor.com or simply leave a comment down in the description area. All right, now that I got all that out of the way, what's up guys? Thanks once again for tuning in and checking out this episode. So you guys are in for a treat. We have now started working on the S21 Ultras and today we got our hands on one. So I'm gonna do a detailed tear down and show you guys exactly how we tear these devices down without damaging any components, you know, breaking the back glass, or anything like that. So if you guys follow my technique, you guys will be able to do this process, minimizing any kind of damage that can be done to this device. Well, that's enough talking for today. So let's go ahead and start tearing down this S21 Ultra. So as you guys know, first things first, we do want to get our heating plate. And our heating plate, for those of you guys who are interested in knowing, it is 90 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this here, let the device get nice and toasty. And of course, always make sure the phone is off. So we'll go ahead and set this in here. I'm gonna go to cut right here. Once it warms up to temperature, I'll begin separating everything from the phone. All right, the device is nice and toasty. I'm gonna go ahead and begin tearing down. First things first, you do wanna get some protection. We're gonna use some gloves, to keep our hands from getting burned, and some goggles to keep any kind of debris or anything like that from flying into our eyes. And we do like to use a clear card. I like to use something like this here. This is a nice little thick card that allows us to get in and separate all the adhesives that we need to remove. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of ISO 99 alcohol. This just helps, of course, dissolve the adhesive. Let's go ahead and begin removing this back glass. And of course, these are back glass. I know on the younger generator, or the S21, that one's plastic. I believe the S21 Plus is glass as well. And the good thing with these, is I've noticed on these S20 series, um, it's just a lot easier to get in here. They have a little gap. So that's what's weird about these. They don't really close and sit flush like the uh, S10s. The S10s had a nice sealing finish. On these, you can see a little opening gap, and that's just, I don't know, that's just the way they designed them. It's better for us, makes it easier for us to go ahead and remove, slice all this adhesive. See that? So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice through. And of course, you always wanna be mindful never to go in too deep. Uh, if you go in too deep, you may actually damage the QI. So you wanna always just go in. And it's really a filling game. I've done a lot of these, so I can fill and I can fill the adhesive just slice right off. And I know there's a lot of videos out there on, on removing the or doing teardowns on these, but I just want to show you guys our technique and how we do it, so. See that? And the good thing is all this OEM adhesive is still good. I mean, it's nice and tacky. I like to leave it on, and what I'll do is I'll add another layer of B1000 when I reapply it. Um, it. And it's just a per se basis. Sometimes this gets all corroded and torn up, and you can't do that because it'll it'll cause gaps and stuff. But if it's it looks good like this, we can go ahead and lay another layer of glue on it and just stick it back down. So that's the back glass. We do like to clean. I like to clean any type of adhesive that's on here. And we're gonna use our little spindle tool. And for all you guys wondering where we get these at, uh, you can visit our web shop, mrphonedoctor.com. If you go to shop, you'll see all our tools and equipment that we have on there. We're slowly adding stuff in, but we have majority of this stuff, like the magic molds and uh, you know the brake tool. And these, of course, here. So you can get your hands on some of this stuff that we have and that we use on a daily. And the good thing is there wasn't a lot of adhesive left, but you can see there's still a little bit of gunk on here. We just always want to make sure this is clean, especially if you're going to be putting it back together. That way you get a nice flush finish on here. I'm just going to add a little bit of alcohol here, ISO 99. And that's it. We have our QY charger here, which is, looks a lot nicer. I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to attach the flex cables for this tester. But it looks like it's only got one attachment here, which is nice. But let me go ahead. I'm going to try to get to the power first and 
I'm probably gonna have to pull this QY charger to get to the power because the power is hitting here. I don't know why they're doing that, but I think we'll be okay to unplug the QI before killing the power. Normally we kill the power first, so. And we like to use little magnet mats here to keep all our little parts and stuff attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lower bracket, actually plate cover here that's covering this charger. And the good thing with these is we found that the screws are pretty much all the same size. So um, if you guys wanna throw them all in a little pile, you can. And the ones that are holding the logic board seem to be a different color, which is nice. You know, they, they're color coded so that way you don't know or that way you don't get them mixed up. So thank you, Samsung. Oh, I lied. I see a tri ring on here. Looks like they're starting to use tri rings. You guys taking tips from Apple? All right. So I went ahead and removed all these here. So it does look like we're going to have to detach our QI charger here before we get to our power. Plus maybe I can snake in. Yeah, you know what, I think I can. Since it's right here, can you guys see that where it's at? It's right here. This is the power, so I'm just gonna go in right here and that's it. Lifted it up, we're good. So power's dead. Now let's go ahead and remove this QI flex so we can reveal the flexes on the OLED. And you can see, so this one has two little Attachments. This, this one's weird because it looks like it's not even connected to this one. This is like another little QI or something. I don't know what this one is. But it looks like it's got a little heat resistant pad right here. Oh, well, that's where the IC chip sits. So maybe that has something to do with IC. We can now remove these flexes for the main OLED. And you can see all your 5G antennas here. This must be a 5G Verizon. Sometimes the logic board's a little bit different too. They have like little pins coming out on the frame. It's just weird. Okay, so let's remove this one here. This is our little, looks like a little sensor right there. And let's see if we have, and there's another one here. And you always wanna be careful when you're going in with your tools. You can see the little city of IC chips resistors here. You never wanna go in and damage one of these guys. And of course you can see how the ear speaker receiver is built into this back plate, which is nice. You know, it all comes out as one. We're gonna remove our, what is this? This is our camera. We have our camera, and then this is another one for our rear camera connected to the board. And we have some more flexes running from these 5G antennas right here. There we go. And I use my nails, for those of you guys wondering, I have, I don't, they're not too long, you know, but I just find it easier than trying to grab a pry tool and go back and forth and everything like that. So let's see if this double stack chip's gonna come out fairly simply. There she is, I don't think she's tied down with any screws. So I guess now they're building the, they have these tied down with the back plate. So the back plate is actually what holds this board down. There we go. Where's she coming, there she is. Gently, there we go, boom. Look at this little fatty lumpkin. So pretty. So this here is your logic board. You can see all the little cities on here, towers and all. This is a beautiful skyline. I don't know, these, these boards are just so, I don't know, beautiful. Compared to apples, I don't know, these are just, they look awesome. Pretty cool, huh? So this is your logic board here. This is gonna be the main brains of your device. And of course you can see all the nice cameras. It's got three, four cameras. You have your wide angle, super space zoom actually. This is your space zoom here. And of course, if you guys did need to replace this camera, you guys can, the flexes are all back here. So it's got three flexes you can detach and uh, replace this component here. So really nice that they make that replaceable very easily. And for the most part, I haven't heard any rumors of Samsung trying to serialize them and make the cameras not work. I know on the iPhone 12 when it first launched, you were able to switch the boards out and the cameras would stop working. So that's another big issue. And that is why I'm a big fan of the uh, right to repair. And I'm really hoping that things move forward with that. I know they just signed, uh, the FTC just signed a legal action. So um, we'll see how that moves along. And let's hope it moves along quickly because we gotta stop these people. All right, so I'm gonna need some tweezers. There we go. All 
right, so here's your lower loudspeaker. This is the speaker here. This is what's gonna make your loudspeaker and of course play audio through your phone. And it looks like on this one, the flex cable is not removable for this Ultra. So that is different than the S20. I know the S20 had a removable flex, but they put that in here. So that is, this does not come off, but of course you can get your main flex off, which is replaceable. And then you have your sub right here that runs any kind of antennas. This, I believe, is the antenna signal. And then we'll have a vibrating motor right here. So this is replaceable. If your phone's not vibrating or it's making a loud, like, cricket sound, you may want to just put some glue down on there and that'll silence that, glue it back down. So the cool thing is your charging port is replaceable. It is held down by these three screws. So there's one, two, three screws, you can lift that up and get that replaced. So if you get anything lodged in there, or you damage it, then uh, you know you can go ahead and get that fixed. Now, one cool thing I did see with this one is that the SIM tray, normally you would remove the SIM tray on this when you're removing the logic board, but they relocated that down here to the bottom. So now your SIM is running all down here. So of course, if you do need to remove your charging port, your SIM tray does need to come out. So make sure you dislodge that. I did not in this because, you know, it is not on the top anymore. They moved it down here in the bottom. So that there, guys, that's pretty much the S21 Ultra Teardown. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got some useful information and saw exactly how we, you know, take these apart without damaging any components and parts. Um, once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, smack that bell, and leave comments down below. Let us know what you thought of this video. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.